what's up, what's up? Well, I'll tell you what's up. A few days back, I was featuring John in a tier 9 medium tank. Today, I'm featuring Terzo, John's brother, in a tier 9 medium tank. Only that this time it's not a T54, but E50. E this game is going to be on mines, which is a lovely, lovely tier 2 map, but some, for some reason, higher tiers can also play on this map. Eh, who knows. Okay, now Terzo is gonna play his uh, E50 really aggressively. Uh, he should do that because he's a top tier medium tank and that's the correct decision. So he's gonna go into this real aggressive position and spots the T44. Exchange these two shots and now he's just gonna bully this, bully this T44. I mean look at this, he pans it easily and the T44 has a lot of trouble panning Turbo here. Pans him again and yeah, bounces left and right. No problem. And this is a pretty risky move, but yeah, the correct one. He finishes him off and bounces yet another shot from the Lorraine. Okay, falls back. And this was a pretty quick start for the game. This shot seems to have gone a bit high, but it actually did hit, so nice result. He's gonna um, ram the pier here. Oh yeah, by the way, this machine is made for ramming. Made for ramming lights, mediums, even some heavies. It's super, it's kind of heavy for a medium, and it goes pretty quickly, especially if you go downhill. But, stop digressing. A Swedish tent deployer hits him. Not, not a tank destroyer, a tent deployer, because they just deploy their tents, and then they can put the shot in this A44. Now he's tracks and puts another shot into him. He repairs his tracks, but I don't know what he's thinking. Like, what the hell? I think he just shot the rock in front of him, so they're just gonna finish him off. Three damage, nice. Alright, two kills for now, and let's move forward. Spots the tent deployer and just famous German accuracy. Fully aim shot, doesn't go in the middle. Yeah, German accuracy man, it's supposed to be accurate, but meh, kinda isn't, kinda isn't. Well, these two shots kinda connect, so yeah, his third kill, going, going pretty well up until now. Okay, now he's gonna hug this rock a little bit, don't know what the rock did to him, and try and find a shot. And this medium tank trying to go up the hill. Can he get it? And... Alright. This one actually went in the middle of the aiming circle and tracked him and actually died by ramming. Okay. Some assistance damage. That's cool. Let's move forwards. I mean, he's doing all the right moves here, if you ask me. Maybe the peak on the T-44 was a bit risky, but he had to take him out. Because that guy could have been annoying just spotting him for the whole time, who knew. He gets the invite for the platoon and he accepts it because it looks like uh, they have a chance for a brothers in arms model here. Or a little cheeky breaky one, but still. Let's see what happens at the end of the game. Alright, now he's wants he's wanting to poke here, but he I think he's afraid of where the Lorraine is and also the RT. The clicker might just splash him, wreck him, stun him, do damage, and then the Lorraine could just finish him off. So, yeah, he's not. He doesn't want to gamble here, and yeah, I can definitely understand that. Now, let's see. What is the plan? What is he gonna do? Finally, moves a bit more forward and tries to get shots on the heavies. The Lorraine doesn't seem to be interested. Don't know what he's doing, he might be reloading, but I don't know. Who the hell knows? And look at this shot. Nope, Arasha. Shoots him in the back, in the ass, but the ass is Russian, so it doesn't pen, of course. <laughs> I mean, this game sometimes, man, the numbers are just arbitrary. But so he um, 
decides to move a bit, a bit closer so he, he can actually hit with his German gun and then with his German gun. I don't know, German tanks. Okay, tries to get the mill, tries to go for the tracks and then misses the opportunity to get the shot off. He's really not worried about this KV-3 gun, that gun is just shit. But still the reload was a bit too slow and that was a shame. But he's gonna get another chance to get that guy. Still trying to get a shot on him, but he dies, so... Okay, I guess he's not gonna get another chance to get a shot at that guy. <laughs> I'm such a liar. Okay, so he decides to go back. Doesn't wanna fight with the ML while the Lorraine is shooting him in the back, so he's gonna try and go clean up this Lorraine and the artillery. I mean, this, this is just the correct move. Again, I would have gone for him earlier, but yeah, he wasn't spotted then, so yeah. Now he's aiming at uh, his allies, and so easy kaboom. Nice fireworks there. Sees the arty, can he get him? No. His arty kills the enemy arty, so kill denied. But okay, we still got some damage to farm. And one shot in the mill, bounces, nice. Very well done. Okay, falls back. And the bushes, trying to get another shot on him. Let's see, aims in. Don't know if that hit, we'll see when he reappears. Come on, come on, reloading. And I guess, yeah, I guess it did hit. Yeah, she did damage, but yeah. Famous German accuracy again, gets spotted through the double bush somehow. Who knows how? And famous German accuracy again. Da Comrade, the Turban Tank, accurate guns. Yeah, whatever, RNG is RNG for all guns. So, but finally gets the kill. Now it's only the T29. And just he's just gonna farm damage. By the way, his platoon mate, the teammate in the game. Just doesn't want, uh, doesn't seem to want to get the third kill. But Terzo's not complaining because he can get a top gun here. Come on, come on. One more shot, one more shot for the top gun, and voila. Okay, let's see the post game stats. Alright, so only first class, but was still a good game. So Steel Wall, High Caliber, and the top gun. Terzo did. Almost 5,000 damage, 6 kills, and 1,354 experience, which is not enough for a master in this tank, apparently. So, oh, okay, pretty good tank, made 24k, and he blocked more than 3,000 damage, almost 3,400 damage, assisted on 1,700. So, nice game, Terzo. Thanks for watching, and bye.